I've still always had that entrepreneurial blood, like the, the, the always wanting to dabble and try something and experiment. Welcome to my life, welcome to my life, yeah. On the bright side, yeah, this music here became my only lifeline. Think I'm going crazy, I'm not in my right mind. No. Welcome to my life, welcome to my life, yeah. Welcome to my life, welcome to my life, yeah. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. We really appreciate you guys following along on our journey. You know, this channel is all about a family just trying to do life, right? We love life in general and we try to make the most of it. We try to fulfill the purpose that God has given us and just to make the most of everything. We want to, we want to play hard, we want to work hard. We want to love each other and love others the best that we can. We're not perfect. We mean we mess up. We argue. We fight. Uh, we make mistakes, right? But we're constantly striving to to do things better. And we appreciate you that have jumped in and decided to follow along and kind of. Um, become that extended Murph Squad family and just watch us do life and support us and encourage us and hopefully we can do things that motivate you or maybe you can learn things of, of maybe how to do things a little better, perhaps what things to avoid because we're going to experiment, we're going to try things. Some things may work out, some things may not. But today I want to tell you a little bit about um, the different aspects of me, like something that you may already know or may have gathered from some of the videos, or perhaps maybe you're still new to the channel and you're still trying to figure it out. But I definitely am into everything. Like I, I've always been that way. As a kid growing up, I've just always liked to do things. Like I don't know, just different things, whether it be you know tinkering around on tractors or four wheelers or. You know, trying to figure out how to do things myself, to sports, to exercise, you know, and I never really knew what I wanted to do with my life as far as what kind of job. And, and it kind of frustrated me a little bit because it seemed like everybody else I knew, they always knew what they wanted to do. Now, some of those people obviously changed once they got into college or maybe into a career, but it seemed like they at least had a direction. And I felt like I never really had much direction. I felt like I was always just... Well, there's a bunch of things that I like. I would like to do a lot of things. Um, but ultimately, you know, I went up going to Auburn and it, it was one of those things where it was like the end of my second year, I believe. And they were like, look, you've got to declare a major because at that point I'd just been taking classes and my basics. So then I just started picking classes that were in the majority of majors. And I really didn't know what I wanted to major in. So then I started thinking, well, you know what? I had this psychology class and I really, really enjoyed that psychology class. Mainly probably because I enjoyed the teacher so much. But anyways, I wound up deciding, you know what? I'll take psychology. It's a pretty cool major. You know, I like, I like learning the different things. And I had a business minor because I enjoyed business as well. Still not having a clue what I wanted to do with these things. Uh, and I'm not going to give you a whole history of my academic career. But anyways, I ultimately went up getting my, um, my degree in psychology with a business minor. And then I went on to grad school, not because I really wanted to pursue academics, but because my wife, Lois Ann, was in grad school and she was in communication and public relations. And we were both cheering at Auburn at the time. And honestly, it was my first year cheering my senior year. Is something that I kind of got into later and I decided, man, I love this, like the people, the, the experience. And I was trying to figure out how to stay in school and stay with Lois Ann because we were been dating. And so ultimately I, I decided to go to grad school with her. So I went into um, communications, public relations, still not real sure what I was going to do with that. Got my degree there, um, got to cheer another year. So I got my master's in communication, public relations, and they, they did something kind of neat. They allowed you to have a kind of a minor master's, if you will. So I got to be able to get a minor, um, kind of a minor MBA. It was a minor in management, but it was like the uh, grad level, MBA uh, level. And I really, really enjoyed that. Honestly, when I did that, I realized, boy, I missed it, man. I should have done that. Should have gone the MBA route versus what I went up doing, which was the um, communication public relations. I mean, I liked speaking and I liked communication, but what I didn't realize was the grad department was geared just to basically people that wanted to go on and be professors or 
you need to go in and get your doctorate and do something else. So I was just like, well, what in the world? I don't really want to teach this. Anywho, um, so fast forward, uh, I went up getting the opportunity to be an intern with a stockbroker. Not something that was on my radar, just kind of happened through cheerleading. It's kind of a neat story. Or maybe I'll share that with you at some point. But anyways, I wound up getting to do an internship with uh, Merrill Lynch in, um, in Birmingham with, uh, with an individual there. And I'd always kind of liked, well, I shouldn't say always, but my dad was into stocks and he was trying to teach me about stocks and, and money management. So I started learning a little bit about that and tinkered a little bit with it in college. Well, then I really began to understand more and learn more and went up doing a little bit of a career as a financial planner and stockbroker. But then 9-11 happened and all that was crazy and it was crazy for the industry. So that kind of diverted the trajectory of that a little bit. Got into real estate. I liked real estate. I liked investing. Uh, Again, it kind of this entrepreneurial blood that is in me that was... I think in my dad and in my grandparents and just wanting to kind of always do a little bit of, you know, different things, just exploring different routes and business and opportunity and investing. And maybe I can flip something or make some money here or there. And it wasn't necessarily about making the money as much as it was almost the game. The excitement of doing it was really what kind of, I think, reeled me in. So anyways, wound up going to real estate, wound up getting into real estate investing, wound up getting a bunch of rental houses and was doing that until the time when my dad passed away. My dad passed away very suddenly. And at that point, I felt called into the ministry. So then I went up becoming a youth pastor um, because that was something else I was very passionate about. I was very passionate about my Christian faith. And I always tried to give back and help um, kind of the younger generation. Um, students and teenagers always had this this desire just to help and, uh, you know, encourage them and, and, you know, just knowing all the peer pressures and the temptations that were there, you know, maybe if I could be a positive role model and help that, um, that was always something that, that fulfilled me. So anyways, at that time I realized, you know what, this is what I need to do. You know, life is short. Um, I just want to give back and I want to do something that God's calling me to do. So I went up going to um, seminary and getting another master's in divinity. I know my life is like a career of education. Um, became a youth pastor, and anyways, that's kind of what I've been doing for the last probably 12 years or so. Maybe not quite 12 years. Um, yeah, about 12 years, I guess, full-time. So that is my occupation. It's still my occupation. That's what I'm doing here in Venice, Florida. However, I've still always had that entrepreneurial blood, like the 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 always wanting to dabble and try something and experiment. It's just, I guess, part of me just wanting to fulfill, you know, as much as I can in life and purpose. And I feel like God's given me some talents and abilities and desires that, uh, that I could benefit uh, others or, um, you know, kind of fulfill that, almost quench that desire within me, right? Like it was almost like I've constantly, when I'm not doing something like that, I constantly have a longing and this desire to do something. So a few years ago, um, I wound up starting a brand. Yeah, it's called Grid Army. So you've probably seen us wear some shirts or the socks or maybe the hat in in some of our videos. I started this uh, several years ago, three years ago probably is when I actually started it. Didn't finally get products made and developed um, for a little while, but I'm not gonna necessarily go into all the details, but I'll put a link um, in the description that you can go and watch more about Grid Army if you want to know a little bit more about the company, the brand, where it came from, why I chose to do it and we chose to do it as a family. But anyways, it's a premium athletic brand, um, mainly birthed out of us doing all the obstacle course racing that we were doing. Um, you know, the Spartan races and Tough Mudders and, and those events, I went up realizing that there were some apparel and gear that really didn't exist, or if they did exist, it just wasn't the quality that I felt like should exist. And it just hit me one day, man, let, let me do it. You know, I'll develop it. I'll figure out something. And so I just started figuring it out, trying to figure out how can I make a better compression sock was, was the very first product that I came out with. Like, that would drain water fast, that would really protect your feet from the blisters and the, 
just the craziness that your feet go through and also of course racing all the water mud rocks climbing the cramps and so i wanted to develop a better sock and uh, anyways i felt like i did i felt like i did about the best sock there is for athletic compression um and anyway so it just kind of started growing and developing so anyways i I, uh, I hadn't mentioned it before because I'm trying to grow Grid Army separately. And then when we started doing the YouTube channel um, and kind of sharing our life, I didn't really want to intermingle the two um, in the beginning. I was just trying to like, you know, let them go separately for a little bit. And at some point, obviously, it's part of our life. So we'll kind of merge them. Um, so anyways, I feel like, you know, now's a good time, you know, to, to tell you for those that didn't have a clue. Uh, maybe some of you have or you've seen it or, or whatever. But if you didn't, you can go check it out. It's gritarmy.com. That's our website. Um, we sell the, I don't think we sell the shirts on Amazon, but mainly the socks are on Amazon. That's the main thing that we have is the premium athletic socks. Um, but we're going to get into more as we grow as a company um, and as a brand. So check it out, man. Go check it out if you uh, want some of the quality material. Again, grit is one of those things that I just, I'm big on, you know, trying to build grit. You may have seen the video of little Gavin building grit um, at football. Like we're all trying to work on building that grit. So anyways, I just wanted to let you guys know a little bit about that in case you want to check it out or, uh, you know, try the, try the products. We'd be happy for you to and um, be actually very grateful if you did try it and, and just kind of help us spread the news about the brand as we continue to grow it but uh, you'll find that i'm into everything like i said like we uh you've seen me flip the lawn mowers right like uh, i've done some of that you know micah jay's kind of doing his little lawn care business vehicles i've been very fortunate with kind of flipping vehicles over the course of my career um i've done golf carts like fixing up golf carts and renovating those and selling them uh, i've just done a little bit of everything i feel like and you know i'm still kind of learning uh, i don't necessarily niche down in one but you'll probably see a lot more craziness uh, as we continue on this journey of me constantly piddling with something and saying hmm, maybe i can maybe i can buy this and fix it up and flip it or maybe i can do something interesting here whether it be rental property or cars or lawn mowers or golf carts who knows we're just into a little bit of everything but maybe that helps explain a little bit what some of the craziness maybe that you see in some of our videos or in future videos but anyways guys we appreciate the the encouragement that you give us and the support we really do thank you for just jumping in and following along in our life and of course we would love to get to know you guys better so please leave some comments or ask some questions i try to respond to all the questions and comments that i possibly can so anyways, that's that. Check out the Grid Army. If you want some apparel, we, uh, we back it. Top premium quality for sure. But anyways, guys, we will see you in the next video. Until then, go build some grit. Bye-bye. Yeah. Welcome to my life. Welcome to my life, yeah. Welcome to my life. Welcome to my life, yeah.